Hello again and welcome back to Wastelanders. Thank you so much for joining me again. We're just outside of the abandoned bunker where we met Sophia de Guerre, the astronaut who crash landed nearby here. She sent us out to find an encryption key. We got it. So let's go back into the abandoned bunker and give it to her. Don't you think we need a decryption key? Eh, whatever. Let's go give it to her. Oh, this thing's alive again. Oh, both of them are. Oh, yeah, look at that. Ugh, look at that thing. Nasty. Nasty, nasty, nasty. Nasty. Ugh. Dog sized rat roaches. Or rat roaches. It's disgusting. This is Commander Daguerre, USSA pilot. Oh, Come she's in, up. Please. Anyone. She's level 66. Well, looks like you're feeling better. Let's see if she says anything else. No? Alright, let's talk to her. I had hoped I couldn't reprogram this console here. But it's barely functional. Did you find the encryption key? Uh, I have your key. It wasn't easy and a little extra payment would be appreciated. Well, I don't have enough charisma to say that. I don't need payment from her. Good grief. Here's your key. Oh, perfect. I just uh, need a console to work with so I can analyze the data. I don't suppose you know of a good electronics store, eh? Oh. <laughs> uh, can we repair this console? Or why did you need this data anyway? Or what will you do with the flight recorder data now? What do you need this data for? It holds data related to our positions. So the rescuers can find all of us. In case something happens on re-entry. A failsafe, really. I don't know if it'll work. But I don't know how else to find my crew without this. Since our comms are down. Hmm. Well, what are you going to do with the flight recorder data now? Nothing, I guess. Until I can get it to a working console. Alright, well, is it something we can repair? I'm not sure it'd be worth it, all the flooding down here, but we might be able to rebuild it, uh, above ground. You wouldn't know of a secure location, would you? Hmm, secure location? Ooh! <laughs> you could stay at my camp, but it'll cost you. I'm not a hotel. Jeez, come on, crash at my camp. I would love to have you. It's a great place to put a console. You're going to love it. Y you're sure? I mean, you've already done so much for me. Maybe just for a night or two. Until I feel better. Thank you. Yeah, you can stick around as long as you like. I don't want to slow you down, though. Maybe you should take these schematics. Get that console rebuilt at your camp. I should be able to get there by the time it's built. And, hey. Thanks for your help. I bet this was not what you planned to do today. But, I'm real glad you found me. Okay. Well, now we're going to build an astronaut's console at our camp. Cool. What if we try to talk to her again? I gave you the schematic to build my console at your camp, so... Uh, go ahead and do that. I'll be on my way. Okay, well, I guess I'll see you there. If we look at the uh, quest... This is a side quest called Crash Landing. Oh, interesting. There's... There we are. There's the text. Commander Daguerre wants to repair a console to track... USSA signals I offered to set one, set it up at my camp. Now, I could fast travel back to my camp. Uh, I could. And if we look at the map, we'll see that in order to get back to my camp, uh, we got a bit of a walk here. We're going to have to walk from here all the way down. And um, we really just made this walk twice. So I really don't feel like we need to do it again. So... What I'm going to do is uh, let's go down to, let's fast travel to Berkeley Springs and then walk from Berkeley Springs down to my camp. How does that sound? I think that sounds fair. I really don't feel like we need to make this walk again from here back to Berkeley Springs. Uh, so we'll, we'll fast travel to Berkeley Springs and then we'll just travel from there to my camp just to see if there's anything new, anything different. See what kind of things we encounter on our way there. Looks like there's a lot of things that have changed here 
uh, they've done a whole lot more than just add NPCs and the story. They've really, really changed a lot of the locations, it looks like. So I'm facing north. I don't want to go north. I want to go south. There's somebody or something up the hill there. Could be up here at this camp, Hawk's Refuge. Let's go check it out. Just for the heck of it. Oh. Oh, oh. Oh. It's a child. That's not creepy at all. Oh, oh, what's going on my here? poor Lucy. She was my best friend. What, what happened? Did you bury her? What happened, child? I'm really gonna miss my Lucy. Hmm. Stupid mole rat! What, mole rat got your Lucy? Oh, no. Oh, I'm gonna guess Lucy was her cat. It's kind of hard to see. It's a picture of a cat there. And then an alien toy. This is kind of strange. My poor Lucy. She was my best friend. A child. We can't say anything to her? I'm really gonna miss my Lucy. Can't talk to Stupid her, really? Morat. Weird. I'm really gonna miss well, that's my it. Lucy. Stupid Morat. That's all we can do is just talk to her. I wonder if I can hit her with this uh, machete or not our sword I've got. <laughs> I'm not gonna do that, obviously. Um, huh. Okay, well, like I said, there are a bunch of different Lucy. things out here that were not here before. Friend. So, okay, we found a child off the side of the road mourning her dead cat, her cat killed by a mole rat. The child did not offer her name, did not ask for any help, just there with her dead cat. I hate to leave her there, man. I mean, who is she with? You know what? Who is she with? She's got to be with somebody, right? Let's go up to Hawk's Refuge and see if there's people up there. Let's see. Let's go see, man. I gotta go see. I gotta make sure that she's got people to be with. I'm not seeing any little dots on my compass which would indicate people. And I really don't want to go into Hawk's Refuge. But maybe I should just to see if um, she has anybody around. Oh man, I am really low on ammo on this thing. I am really low on ammo, period. I probably shouldn't be doing any exploring. Oh, oh damn it, I got the camera out. Yeah, I should really go back to my camp. I really shouldn't be doing this. But, here I am. Somewhere, there was another mongrel. Well, I tell you what, let's stick our head in here. Just see if there's any people in here, any humans. Kind of looking like no. Uh, and I'm just saying that because I would expect to see little dots. Show up. Yeah. Interesting here. Whew, I'm so low on ammo. It's not like I'm going to find any in here. I don't think, anyway, so this is probably really, really dumb of me to come in here. Somebody's walking around. We got these two dead bodies here, a settler. I'll tell you what, this thing's doing much better than I thought it would. It's doing a pretty good amount of damage. Considering I'm not spec for this type of weapon, spec for a non-automatic. Looks like it's doing a pretty good job. Got another body down there. 
Ooh, in there we've got Gangrenous Feral Ghoul. Some nasty stuff over there, man. Bloated glowing one. Alright, take care of him. Got a still back here. Oh, he's he's alive. Not anymore. Ooh, what kind of ammo? No, 45 rounds, that's cool. That's what I need. Don't know if it makes coming in here worth it though. I think we just I think we should just leave. Another settler here. Caps. Okay, I don't want any of that other stuff. Yeah, let's get out of here, man. We don't need to be here. I just wanted to see if that girl's family was nearby or something, but it doesn't seem like they are, huh? Of course, she could have been... Her family could have been in Berkeley Springs as well. Berkeley Springs wasn't far away. I need to find some ore as well because I don't know if I even have enough ore to make even make ammo I sure as I don't want to buy any ah oh, man really I am almost out of ammo completely Get the heck out of here, man. Let's get back out here to the main road. And then we'll walk on back to our camp. I mean, look at the small amount of ammo I've got. When I'm out of ammo, I'm not sure what I'll do. Start hitting things with my sword. Fast travel. <laughs> Alright, we're back at the road here. I'm gonna turn off my light to stay as inconspicuous as I can. I'm going to mark my camp here. Just put a marker just south of it. So I know which way to go. I guess that's a electrical tower over there, I guess. Yeah, I think that's what that is. Whoa! Abandoned sentry bot. Well, it's not showing him as hostile. God, I hope he's not. Oh, look at this move. Nice. Hey, dude, how you doing? What's up, abandoned sentry bot? Can I talk to you? Scan. Hi, can we be friends? Commander identified. Oh. Greetings. Ooh. Engaging protocols. Protect and follow commander. Ready when you are. <laughs> He's gonna follow me. Let's go. Greetings, commander. Proceed with security operations. Okay, come on, man. You're with me. <laughs> there he comes. <laughs> Look at this. I'm a commander, by the way. I guess that's what I am in the army. A commander? I was a general. The general in the enclave? Well, cool. Now I don't have to worry so much about ammo, maybe. So I got this guy with me. I wonder if he could go over... Like, the countryside. Because I want to have to go across hills and stuff. I'm going to have to leave the road here in a bit. He's keeping up with us okay. Staying back a little bit. This is cool. This is why you walk instead of fast traveling, so that you see stuff like this. <laughs> I got my own personal protection robot.
What kind of boats? Rutkonski boats? Okay. Well, the lighting is weird here. Come along, robot. What's this in the road? A motorcycle? A couple of motorcycles. Let's keep moving. Oh, jeez! What is this thing? Vengeful Mothman. Go get him, dude. He's not done that much damage to him. I tell you what, I'm gonna let him do the work. Whoa! Whoa. Save my ammo. He's really not doing much damage to him at all. Vengeful Mothman. Check him out, man. He's venting over there. He's got all of his health, though. He's shooting fine. He's gonna do this thing where he lands next to me. Protect me, robot! Robot, you're actually doing a crappy job. Let me help you. You're doing a terrible job. Let me use my ammo. That is so cool. Whoa. Well, what the hell? I thought I killed him. What's going on over here? Is he dead? Freaking bizarre, man. Um, torn Mothman wing? I don't know. Okay, come on. Come on, almost useless security robot. You couldn't even take on a Mothman. I mean, you're sure we're... Oh. Sure, we're scary sounding, but he didn't really do a whole lot. Ooh, a roadblock. Is he going to be able to get around this? Well, I guess we'll find out. Alert. Hostiles may be in area. Non combatants are advised to seek secure location. Where's he going? The perimeter is secure. What's here? Greater Reaver? These guys are kind of high level. Raiders. This is not going to help with raider relations. Oh gosh, I am almost out of ammo. Holy cow, did they just blow up my ro my robot? No, he's right here. It was just a car blowing up. <laughs> Secure Sentry bot is still doing okay. Holy hell. Whoa. You see something else? This is bizarre, man. Look at this. Hostiles neutralized. neutralized. <laughs> Recommend repairs. <laughs> you alright, dude? Do I have to repair him? Greetings, Commander. Proceed with security operations. <laughs> he sounds so cool. All right, where are these raiders that I took out? I'd like to loot their bodies. I might have some ammo I'm interested in, but ambush, ambush. Whoa! Defensive protocols whoa. engaged. Whoa! 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 That hurts. Help me, security robot. Where are you, security robot? Oh, I'm almost out of ammo. This is dangerous. Oh, oh let's charge it up. I'm out of ammo. Oh. oh! Oh, I'm out of ammo. Oh my gosh, what am I gonna do? Oh no! Battle of the robots here. Do you have any ammo? Yes, you do. <laughs> Oh, 
Shit, hurts, man. Where the hell is it? I don't think we got it. What are you doing? There we go. It's still up there. Try not to hit my security robot. <laughs> Plan for assault tron head. <laughs> this is the only freaking weapon I got now, man. I think I have a little bit of 556 five, ammo. Yeah, five bullets. Holy hell. <laughs> Are you coming, dude? Yeah, I kind of need him now, don't I? Mamma mia. What's going on in here? He's, uh... What's he doing? Yo, don't leave me now. Come back. I need your help. Come here. Yeah, come on. You okay? Do I need to be repaired? Do you need to be repaired? Greetings, Commander. Proceed with security operations. This is insane. Can you get through here, dude? I don't know if he can. He's thinking about it. Come up. Yeah, come around this way. Come up here. Look at this computer trying to figure out pathing. He might not be able to go this way, man. I, yeah, I might be out of luck. I might be on my own from here. I want to see what's in this vehicle, though. Whoops, let's get in here. Salisbury steak. That could come in handy. Disease cure in dirty water. Sure, sure, sure. A recipe that we already know. Let's do a little bit of cooking. Cook up some food. Might save my life. What's he saying out there? What's going on? What's he doing? Whoa. Whoa, what's going on? Who's, who's, what? Huh? What's he doing? Invalid commander identified? Oh, oh, he's going to stand. Oh. What happened? What the hell? What is what happened? I thought we were friends. <laughs> the hell's going on, man? This is crazy, man. What the heck just happened? Okay, I guess maybe he was damaged or something, but unfortunately I couldn't hear what he was saying. And I really don't need to run because I know he can't follow me. <laughs> Sucker. <laughs> what the hell's going on? That was really cool. <laughs> okay. Oh, 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 good golly. Oh my gosh. Is my camp nearby? Because I cannot be fighting a freaking Deathclaw right now. All I have is a freaking sword. Holy hell. Gotta be near my camp, right? There's my camp. There she blows. See if I can get down to it. There's oh, I wonder if Ally Ally. I keep calling her Ally because it, the, the quest is called Ally, and I keep thinking that's the name Ally. I know it's stupid, um, but I wonder if she's down there now because this is showing that there's a person down there. The little dot. I don't know where she is. Well, let's get down there. To put on my suit and jump down, or I could just run over here and run down the path. Let's do this real quick. <laughs> that was craziness. So I guess I guess she beat us here. I hope it's her who's here and not somebody else. But if there is somebody else here, hopefully my turrets will take care of them. Although I don't really have a whole lot of turrets over here because I really don't get a lot of visitors here. 
There's two people here. There's one up above and there's one right here at my camp. Camp's looking pretty good. Let me get some water while I'm here. Let's see. I don't see anybody. Somebody up above. Somebody up above and is some is somebody upstairs in my camp? Well, it doesn't look like she's in the bed. I hear somebody walking around. It's a freaking scorch dude. What the hell? Take him out, freaking turrets, because I ain't got no ammo. Did you do the job, turret? There's somebody down here. <laughs> what the hell's going on? You see the dot I'm talking about? There's somebody at the same level that I'm at. If I go down here... What the hell? It's acting like the turret is a person, almost. What in the world? I'm a little worried that... Sophia's here, but... She's like in a weird spot because my camp is so built so strangely, like... She's kind of underneath or something. I don't know, man. I don't know what would cause her to come here. But, um, first things first, I need to make some ammo. So let's see if I have anything to smelt. Um, steel scrap. Don't have a lot of it, but we'll be able to make some ammo. Okay. Then, lead. I need lead, man. I don't think I'm going to be able to make any ammo. Oh, I can make ammo here, huh? No, I, I can just make gunpowder here. Okay, so I need to go upstairs to my Tinker's workbench. Before I do that, I'm going to go in here and uh, we're going to remove uh, Sneak and I'm going to apply Ammo Smith. And let's see if I can make some ammo. So I need 45 rounds. Yeah, I'm going to be able to make some rounds. A fair amount of them. So... How do I want to do this? Do I want to make all 45 rounds or do I want to split it up? Let's do this. Okay, that should have been like 210 rounds I just made. Which isn't much, really, because I go through it quick, don't you know? So this thing, uh... What the hell? Didn't I... Didn't I just make a bunch of 45 ammo? What the hell? What's going on here? Okay, phew, there we go. Now it's updated. 210. Damn, that... That worried me there for a moment. I was like, holy crap, did I just waste all my steel and lead on the wrong thing? So I got 210 of that kind of ammo. And then um, I could make some 556 as well. But, you know, I think I'm just going to stick with my 45. That is my main weapon. And we'll just pick up 40 or 556 ammo as we're out and about. Okay, we'll go with that. Yeah. Okay, I need to find me some steel, man. Some iron ore. Let's go back in here. Remove ammo smith. Put sneak back on. Okay. I still have an unused point. What do I what else do I put in agility? Um Escape Artist. I believe that's what I put in there. Okay. All right. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah, all of the display cases are turned off right now because there's some kind of error or issue. Let's see how my, what my ammo looks like, or my 
armor looks like. Yeah, nothing's in horrible shape. And then my weapons, let's check them. Uh, let's go ahead and repair this. Okay. Do a quick scrap. Alright. Okay, so we scrapped all that stuff. Now I need to build the astronaut's console at my camp. That's what I need to do. Um... So let's see here. Allies. Console. We're gonna put it right here. Build. Okay. I just built a console. Oh, here she comes, man. The woman who fell to Earth. Okay. Commander. Okay, here we go. Let me get out of here. Check her out, man. Look, she's. I've had headaches like this before. I'll try not to get in your way. Oh, well, you're literally in my way. Only your current allies' quests will be available to you, it's telling me. And now she's level 39. Wasn't she level 66 before? Now she's level 39. To access the quests of a different ally, scrap the current ally workshop object placed at or stored in your camp. You can then place the object for your new ally and start playing their quests. Okay, so we're going to stick with her for a while. No sense for me to run off and do a different quest. She's really the only ally I've met so far, right? So, um, let's see what the quest looks like. The woman who fell to Earth. All right, where's your, where's the text for this? Well, I know I'm just supposed to assist her somehow. This thing's, I guess the server's slow to respond or something because sometimes I look here and there's no text and then when I look again, there's text later. But we're supposed to assist her. <laughs> yeah, this place should do just fine. Thanks for setting up the console. I can work with this. This console looks pretty good. A little rusty in places, though. I guess you got these parts from a junkyard, huh? Resourceful. The scanner currently has a Model 38X2, which is built for scanning very specific locations. Not bad, but I would like to improve it. The year before I launched, the military was rolling out some scanner upgrades. One of those could give us more speed and detail in our scans. Can you find a scanner upgrade module for this? It would help us find so much more. And much more quickly. Jeez, my my console isn't good enough for you? Um, well, what's so uh, important about the scanner module? The upgrade module should extend the range of the scanner in our console here rather substantially. I can then cross-check some of the USSA data that you gathered from my ship's console, which will help isolate specific useful signals. Okay. Well, where can I find one? I don't suppose you can just swing by a tech supply store, hmm? Yeah, I didn't think so. Last I knew, these types of things were common items in military bases and compounds. But my information is admittedly out of date. I'll transfer the coordinates to a local military base, but I can't vouch for its security status. It's hard to detect anything specific right now. Hmm, okay, well, I will find that scanner upgrade module for you. Swell. In the meantime, I'll fix up this console a bit. Did you know that it still uses the outdated P14B configuration for its power chamber? Hey, it's all I, I could mean, find. I know you all survived the end of the world, but using this as is would be like living in squalor and the apocalypse. Listen, I know you've done a lot for me already. Got me out of that sunken bunker and let me stay here. It means a lot. Hmm, okay. Uh, let's see. I still can't believe you're really an astronaut, or do you have everything you need for the console, or how are you doing? You've been through a lot. Yeah, I can't believe you're really an astronaut. Uh, you saw my wreck, didn't you? I don't know how else to prove it to you. You know, it's equally surprising to me that you've survived 
all of this. It's good that wonders never cease, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, how are you doing? You've been through a lot. It's hard. I don't know what to say. It's more than I ever expected could happen. This wasn't even in the realm of possibilities when I launched. But it could have been worse. We need to remember that. Okay. Well, do you have everything you need for the console? We already know the answer to this, but we're going to ask it anyway. Uh, no. I need a TF-85B adapter to improve the visual fidelity of the scanner, but those... Uh, those were being phased out when... When... <laughs> when I launched decades ago. So... Now I need to be the one to adapt... Or else. Right? <laughs> right? Uh... Oh well. <laughs> anyway. No, I don't really have what I need, but... I'm making do. I think I can muddle through with this. Okay. Well, I'll be back later, Commander. Copy. Over and out. Okay, quest started. One small step. Find a scanner upgrade module for Commander Daguerre. <laughs> I can't tell you how neat I think it is that there is a person in my camp. <laughs> I just think it's so neat. Playing 300 plus hours of this game with no other human beings around at all, and now one of them is in my camp. I built this camp, and she's able to walk around inside of it. She was able to find her way in here. Not sure how she got here, though. She just kind of, like, materialized here. But she made her way into our camp. I just, I don't know. I just think that's so cool. <laughs> what if I talk to her again? Thanks. The sooner you get that scanner, the sooner I can find my crew. Okay. All right. That's cool. Uh, I thought for sure it was going to tell me that we were going to need to... Is always so solid? <laughs> I feel so wobbly. Oh, that was weird. She actually did kind of wobble when she said that. I wonder if that was on purpose or just a strange coincidence. I was going to say, I was waiting for the game to tell me that we needed to provide a bed for her like he did in Fallout 4, you know? Had to provide beds uh, then for your uh, settlers. So let's look at these quests we've got. Uh, the woman who fell to earth, there's still no text for that, but for one small step I'm helping a friend staying in my camp. Okay. I'm going to turn this one off. One small step. We're going to show this on the map and uh, we need to go here to the Atlas Observatory to retrieve the scanner upgrade. And, um, you know, it's just up the road here. No big deal. And I tell you what, so far my travels in this part of the world have been pretty crazy. This area is super dangerous, man. We've come across some seriously dangerous stuff. I mean, seriously dangerous. So, do I want to run up and get that scanner upgrade for her right away, or... Or, do we want to, um... Go back to this main quest here, where we're supposed to find train, Crane's treasure, and then we still have these things to do for, um... The Overseer, right? Uh... Huh. Duchess said she's willing to tell me what she knows about like this what she knows about Crane and his treasure. I just need to follow her. So if I turn that quest on, where does that one want to take me? I'm just curious. That one is going over here to Golly Mine. Okay, way back over here. So we could go back over there. Um, I kind of. Yeah, I kind of want to do some of these side quests first, though, before we get back to the main quest. So let's go ahead and hit the road, man, and uh, start heading up here to Atlas Observatory. Uh, it's going to be uh, tricky, I think. It's going to be pretty tricky. We need to help her out. So one small step for her. Turn this quest off. Don't worry, we'll get back to that one. But let's do these side quests before we do this main quest. I am a bit nervous still about the amount of ammo I've got for my weapons. Um, I, I mean, I only got 336. I'm used to having over a thousand. <laughs> That's what I'm used to having. Um, 
but I ain't got it. So, yeah. Unfortunately, I don't know off the top of my head where I can find some uh, iron ore, except for maybe right below me here. Right down here is Kerwood Mine. So what do you say we head down to Kerwood Mine and see if we can't find ourselves some iron ore or lead or something. I don't know what's down there. Uh, but let's go do that. So I'm going to kind of cheat a little bit. And, uh, I mean, it's not really cheating. I'm going to put on my armor and just jump down there. That's what I'm going to do. So we're going to get into this. And then, apparently, I need to put my helmet on. So let's put on the helmet. Never had headaches like this before. Okay, the helmet is on. Here we go. You ready for this? Oh man, did you feel that in your stomach? <laughs> that was pretty cool. <laughs> We're gonna go down here and see if we can't do some mining. Oh man, that's pretty cool. Okay, where's this mine? Still this way. taking a look at the rocks here. Sometimes there's things to mine on the rocks themselves. I should have been checking as we were jumping down. Oh, what's going on over there? Okay, so here's the mine. Let's um, get out our weapon. See if Fats picks anything up down here. Take out these mole miners down here before we go down. Caution, it still says. Hmm. Caution. But I'm not picking anything up with vats, which is too bad. Alright, let's see. <laughs> I honestly don't remember whether there's any ore down here or not. What am I hearing? Shoot that mole rat in the butt. So we've got a minor corpse in here. We'll take his Salisbury steak and his boiled water petrified corpse there. Recipe that we already know about. What do you got on you? Okay. Let's go into this mine. If I can, I honestly don't remember whether I could go in here or not. Can we go in here? Yeah, we're going into Kerwood Mine. We're going to see if we could do a little bit of mining in here. I need some iron ore and I need some lead. Hopefully we could find one of those two things in here, although I bet you it's, we're probably just going to find freaking um, coal in here. And I don't even know what to do with coal in this game. Okay, I'm going to get out of my uh, power armor, believe it or not. Might be a mistake. But I just prefer to walk around without it. Um, the hell's that? Just the vegetation hanging down? Oh, come on. 95% chance. Let's hit him. Gotta keep my eyes open for ore. I'm seeing coal. What looks like coal, though. I'm, a, I'm worried I'm just going to find coal in here. That could have helped me none. What do we got here? Blasting caps. Not sure what that mole rat was doing, but it looked weird. 
not seen any veins of anything yet. Somebody left their sweet roll here in their lunch pail. Gotta be something in here. Here's something to my left. Let's see if there's anything up here. I mean, I... Hope I'm not missing anything. Sometimes this stuff could be hard to see. You know? Well, let's take a look here. Your movement again. Not finding anything. What do you got? Nothing all that interesting. It's a long way down. I don't remember what I did in this mine when I was here before in the main game. But, um... So far, I'm not finding what I'm looking for, which is ore. And like I keep saying, this looks like coal. I don't want coal, damn it. Got a body over here. I still have the Kerwin mine key from before. Although I don't think there's really any reason for me to come in here because I don't think I'm going to find any ore in here. Oh, hey, how's it going? Right? Not going to find any ore in here. Probably not. Check the lockers, you never know. Uh, it's unlocked a locker with a miner's key, but there's nothing in it. Take the Nuka-Cola, though. Somebody's got a... Weapon set up there. There's a trip line right there. We've been in here before. We've already read this foreman's terminal. We don't need to do it again. Did that in my main playthrough. Looking for ore, man. We're gonna go further into the mine and see if we don't find some. I really don't want to go down there. It seems like I remember that being underwater. I haven't found any veins of anything yet. I remember coal being really hard to see. Which is another thing that's making me think that this is gonna be a coal mine. But I mean, it's worth a, worth a shot, because we're so close to it. Okay, maybe, I think there'd be some veins back here. I'm not seeing anything. No veins of anything, man. This is certainly not helping me out any. Hmm. I'm not too happy about this, I'm here to tell you right now. I'd just like to find a vein of something to confirm. Here we go. Yeah, it's coal. This is a coal mine. This isn't going to do us any good. Let's just get out of here. I'm going to have to find or a different method. Use a different method to find it. So, this is a bust. That's okay. Problem now is that now I'm down, way down at the bottom of this mountain. And, um... We need to get back up it to get over to, uh... Where we're going. 
But with my uh, marsupial mutation, I should be able to jump where I want to go. And as I jump, we will inspect this uh, mountain. See if we don't find ourselves some iron ore along the way. So, we gotta got a job here as we go up this mountain to find iron ore or lead or something. Maybe I need to go to a workbench somewhere and uh, look for uh, some place that I could put an extractor get my ore that way, but then again you know, I don't know which location to go to, which workbench to go to. So we're just going to walk in this direction. And um, actually, now that I've walked this far, let me look at the map. Oh gosh, I'm not close to anything. Hmm. Um, I'm going to fast travel back to my camp real quick. So I'm going to end this episode at my camp. And then in the next episode... Uh, Nice place. Thanks. I mean, I think it's nice anyway. Oh, thank you. I'm glad you like it. The sooner you get that scanner, the sooner I can find my crew. Okay. All right. I'll be back later. Copy. Over and out. So, like I said, I'm going to end the episode here, and then when we come back next time, uh, we will start making our way north to uh, Atlas Observatory. And while we're going up there, hopefully I'll remember to keep an eye uh, out for uh, some ore. <laughs> so that uh, when I get back here we can uh, make more ammo because I, I really need to start taking ammo seriously again it looks like what's that down there a candle, interesting <laughs> well thank you guys so much for joining me on this episode I sure hope you enjoyed it, if you did uh, why don't you let me know, let me a like or a comment I sure would appreciate that, if you're not a subscriber why not subscribe and click the bell so you're notified whenever I post a video thank you guys so much for watching I sure do hope you join me again in the next episode